so All right, well, we've arrived right as a thunderstorm did. Uh -oh. Hi, my name is Brian Hart. I hope you'll join me and my family on our ride during the Jeeping for Warriors event hosted by Pensacola Jeeps. Welcome to part one. All right, y'all, it is Saturday morning and uh, we are getting ready to head to meet up with Pensacola Jeeps in Harold, Florida. Uh, we are participating in a charity ride today. It's called Jeeping for Warriors. And what they're doing is benefiting Healing Paws for Warriors, uh, which is a great little organization. I looked into them and basically what they do is they take dogs and, and kind of train them to help our vets with PSTD, P PSTD and other disorders. So it's really cool. Uh, depending on how many actually show up, I think there's somewhere around 50 Jeeps registered for the event. There are two of them that are going right there. Now, it rained a good bit yesterday. I believe about an inch and a quarter of rain fell yesterday. My understanding is, is it's going to end up being pretty muddy, but uh, the trail leads say most of the trails are pretty easy. I packed everything but the kitchen sink, so I think it's going to be fun. All right, it is 6.30 in the morning. Here come the kids. It is time to head out. From our home in Alabama, it's about a 65-mile drive to meet up at the Herald store near the Blackwater Wildlife Management Area. First stop, let's make it into Florida. Achievement Unlocked. All right, well, we've arrived right as a thunderstorm did. Jess and I got registered and we are lined up with some of the other Jeeps in the area. Phone's about to fall out of my hand. So uh, originally we were in two different groups. We asked, they moved us into the same group, which is nice. Uh, up there, you can see the Silver Wrangler, that's Jess. And then I'm a few back, because uh, that's how they're gonna do it. They've got multiple groups that are running. So, you know. Should be a lot of fun. We'll uh, see what happens from here. As the rain stopped, more and more Jeeps arrived. We ended up with a total of 56, I think. Shortly thereafter, we held a safety meeting with the entire group. We talked about representing Pensacola Jeeps in a positive way, as well as not leaving trash behind, tearing up the roads, basically That's being cool, good right? stewards of the land. After that, we broke into our separate trail groups, met with our leaders, and assigned radio frequencies. All right, Christian, we're getting ready to pull out. Bill is our trail lead. We're going to be third in line. It'll be the trail lead Bill, and then Jess, and the Wrangler, and then us, and then a whole line of Jeeps behind us. You ready to get a little muddy? Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. We pulled out, hit the pavement, went a few miles north in search of dirt, mud, sand, whatever the trail may bring. The first several miles were fairly uneventful. Nice, fairly dry roads, just having a good old time getting used to the bumps. Because she slid a little. Not as muddy as I thought it would be. And that's what we call famous last words. Coming up later in the ride. So the next bits were a good amount of more of what you're seeing here. I'll jump forward a little bit and just hit the highlights. One other note, I have really got to get a camera mount. What you're seeing here is just my phone propped up on the dashboard, so there are places where it fell. Sorry about that, I'll work on it for the next video. Now, you see this turn right here to the right? That was important. Tied in with that, I had not heard a single thing on my radio yet which was really strange since there was like 13 of us with radios and I'm wondering why I haven't heard anybody. Why is your mom in reverse? How do you know? Because 
So at this point, we were turning around, but I didn't know why. None of the group was behind me, so I didn't know if somebody got stuck or what was going on or why I didn't hear anything on the radio. Did he say turn around? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, I didn't hear anything on the radio. We're just turning Okay. So Christian and I decided to start fiddling with the radio while we turned around and headed back. I might be on the wrong channel. Remember that turn we missed? Well, that's where we're going back to now. Now that we were back on the right trail, everybody decided this was a good time for a break, get something to drink, potty, whatever you needed to do. There's Alex and Jess. Hey, buddy. And while we were stopped, I decided to fiddle with that radio and figure out what was going on. Because I'm on the wrong band. What? You're on the wrong band? Yeah. There we go. That ended up being a bit silly. Our handheld radios will do three different bands, VHF, which is what we use when we're on the water, FRS, and GMRS, which is what we were using on this ride. Uh, well, somehow I had put it back into VHF mode, which is why I couldn't hear anybody. Once I figured that out, switched back to GMRS channel 20, life was good, and it was time to head out. And so we continued along, looking at the trees, looking for wildlife. Didn't really see any this trip, but when we've been out in the past, we've seen lots of deer, turkey, squirrels, uh, tracks from various animals I couldn't tell you about. Anyway, Christian and I decided to eat some Cheetos. Nobody wants to hear that. So why don't we switch and ride with Jess for a while and her Wrangler. And so we continued on, nothing really hard. You're wondering about all that action in the beginning of the video, the hook, right? Oh, that's coming up a little bit later. This was a nice relaxing drive. Sometimes it was a little muddy, sometimes a little sandy, nothing too serious. We just had fun enjoying the scenery in the pine forest. Eventually we found pavement and took a break. All right, so we have stopped for a potty break at a little store and Kind of here's my setup, the truck's off, but this is actually working pretty well. Night Eyes makes these things, and that's working pretty well for the radio. There's Christian's seat. We got our snacks in the back. There's Jess's Jeep. Alex decided he needed a trail nap, so he's sleeping. That's all good. Now, two things. Normally, he does ride in the back in the center position, but because we were off-road, we did allow him to ride in the front but we don't normally do that for safety. Just wanted to point that out. And number two, he sleeps a lot. What, he's three, what do you want? And uh, anyway, I brought way too much stuff, but it's all good. We've got, I don't know, 13 or 14 Jeeps with us. That's Bill's Jeep, he's the trail lead. And Jess, and me, and everybody else, kinda cool. And yes, I, I did wear my Crocs. No, they're not fashionable, but they are so easy to clean and they're comfortable. I love my Crocs. Let's check out some of the other Jeeps in the group. Man, the water brings them out, don't it? After we all got done stretching our legs, we began to line the Jeeps back up on the road and hit the dirt, or so we thought. Very one of the Jeeps, uh, I guess word we got was a sol uh, lost her solenoid. And we're trying to figure out what to do because it wouldn't jump. And then some of the resourceful guys in the back figured out it was a manual. So they just pushed it and kickstarted it. So now their plan, I guess, is to just not turn it off the rest of the trip. So that works. Anyway, we uh, lining the Jeeps back up and 
What do you say we got uh, 12 water crossings to do 14, coming up? 13 or 14. 13 or 14? Okay. I need a selfie stick, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's, that ain't gonna work. That's fine. We're getting moving now, so I'm gonna turn it off. We'll turn it back on on the trail. And so we continued and the trails began to get a little sloppier, a little bit of sliding, but still nothing crazy. And then I learned what the radios were really for. Not safe for work joke incoming. So there were these two whales, right? And they're swimming in the water and the one whale looks over and she says, Oh my god, I can see that ship over there. I think that's the ship that killed my dad. And so the other whale says, I know, let's go throw bubbles underneath it and we'll sink their ship. So the two whales that were over there in the April bubbles underneath the ship and the ship of course flips over and all the, the people fall out and they're in the water. And then the other uh, whale says, I know, let's gobble them all up. And then the first whale says to the other whale, listen, I didn't mind giving them a blow job, but I'm not going to eat any semen. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was riding towards the back of our group and captured this footage of the same crossing. We'll see a little bit more of her video later on as well. And with that little bit of fun done, on to the next challenge. First three Jeeps through. Let's go farther back in the pack with Kelly and see how everybody back there is feeling. I'm so excited. Oh my. 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 Oh when riding in a group, one of our rules is you always keep sight of the Jeep in front of you and behind you. We don't want to leave anybody behind. So here's where we pause to make sure that we were all still together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I count ten. Okay, is everybody caught up now? Eleven, twelve. Thirteen.
You gotta go fast. Fast, though. I can't. He's in it. I didn't mean that fast, but sure. Oh, God. I wanted to go that fast through it. That fast? I wanted to go that fast. My mom wouldn't get out of the way. Uh, and now let's look at it from Kelly's point of view. Awesome. By the way, Kelly, we think you have one of the coolest navigators in the whole group. So you've been watching us ride the trails, nothing too bad. You're wondering where the action in the beginning of the video was, the water going up over my hood. Well, we're here. This is the deepest water crossing of the day, and you're about to ride through it with us right now. Some of us went through it fast, some of us went through it a little slower, but I think we all had a lot of fun. I really wish I had gotten video of that one. That was amazing. Well, that was our bit of fun there. It was time to head on up the trail to our next challenge, which wasn't that far away. That's me. What Christian and I look like. Ooh, phone's getting hot. I'm gonna stop the video. Hmm. Huh. 
Huh. Where, where, where's the mud? Where's the mud? <laughs> Alex is sleeping through it all. Rain's starting again. I really hope you're enjoying the adventure so far. I know we are. Look for part two to see the conclusion.